Hey friends, welcome back. I am here today to do a very highly requested um, updated energy reading for Sebastian Rogers. Yes, I am very, very well aware <laughs> that his last name is Rogers. Thank you everybody who corrected me. Um, in the last reading I did uh, for Sebastian, I know his name is Rogers, but for some reason I kept calling him Roberts. So you guys, I, I thought at first that there was a good possibility that there was somebody with the name Robert or Roberts that was connected. And I thought it was a possible connection to Riley for some reason. It just made me feel like there is, and I'm not putting, I'm not laying that idea to rest yet. There's a reason I kept saying Rogers. I knew his name. I know his name. I said his name right too. I mean, I began the video introducing who I was going to read on correctly. And the reading while I was in his energy, that name came out of my mouth multiple, multiple times. I wasn't even aware it was happening when it happened. I didn't even hear myself say that. That wasn't me. That was spirit. There's a reason. You guys, help me find the Robert connection, okay? I don't know if it's connected to this case. I don't know if it's connected to Riley. Help me find the Robert connection. It's there, okay? Roberts, Robert, somehow that's involved either in this because I was working both the Riley and the Sebastian case basically at the same time. I mean, I was trying to keep the energy separated, but when you're working more than one case at a time and you're answering comments on multiple people at the same time, you stay in the energy. It's impossible not to. So please help me know you guys help me figure out how the name Roberts is connected to either Riley or Sebastian. And I appreciate that so much. Also, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your wonderful, amazing comments and support. And um, yeah, this has been a great comeback, you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here again. So you guys have made me so excited. Um, okay, there's a few things I want to talk about real quickly before we start reading. Apparently... Seth Rogers, that's um, uh, Sebastian's bio dad, has been out searching. Um, now, before I came to this video, I've been very, very, you guys have been so obsessed with Riley's case and this couple that exist and, and need to be outed. It's, it's not just a couple, it's a huge ring. It's huge and I am not done. I am not, I am not done, okay? Believe me. Um, I'm taking a break to do this because so many people ask me to, but... Apparently, Seth Rogers has been out searching with boots on the ground. And um, apparently at a park somewhere. Now, you guys, I described a park in the last reading. Well before they went there and searched the last couple days. I described seeing a park. I saw meadows, trees. I said it's not a forest. It's not a thick forest. It's not like a forest. This is more like a park. It's got some rolling hills, some meadows. I also was hearing ATVs and uh, the sound of ATVs was coming through. Um, okay, I also had somebody else make a comment in my video or in my comments um, suggesting, well, okay. What this commenter said, thank you very much, by the way. What this commenter said was that she said, in your reading of Sebastian, you described a place. Sounded like the backyard, a backyard which is exactly what I referred to it in as my, as my, and my reading. She said, uh, or he, I don't know if, uh, if, I think it's a girl. I'm picking up on female energy, so I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this is a female who left this comment. Okay, said that um, the place I described looked a lot like the backyard connected to the backyard of, like the backyard of the house behind Sebastian. She said, go look on Google Earth at that. Well, I don't know what Sebastian's address is. And when I tried to Google it, I got the address of the courthouse, like 300 West something, okay? So it didn't take me to his house. I really do not have time to go and dig through and try to find his address. I just don't. So if somebody wants to let me know what his address is, I'll go look at that. I, I absolutely will go look at that. I, I definitely was seeing a backyard type place okay this place it had it was completely fenced in it had a taller fence on I want to say the right hand and the back side the left side I might have that upside or backwards but one side not the back but one side had a shorter fence um, I was seeing like uh, berry bushes and vines coming through that fence into the yard I was also seeing some wood uh, not wooden sorry some uh, rubber 
planters, like made out of old tires, like rubber tires that put dirt in it. Seeing those there, um, and a shed. I saw a garden shed. I smelled the grass inside this garden shed. Some reason, Spirit took me into the shed to, to show me this mechanism of this little piece of wood, how it keeps the door closed. So I don't know if like the, the door um, is uneven and maybe hangs funny and just opens and they use this to keep it closed. I don't know. It doesn't look like a, a normal like door locking thing. It just looks like something somebody made. Um, and I was seeing that too. I was seeing a concrete pad with like a little bit of a roof. It looks like a temporary roof. It's like something someone would erect for like, say a picnic or a party to keep the sun off or rain. That's what I was seeing, like a temp one you can put up and take down or seeing that too. So, um, and yeah, and they took me inside of a, a garden shed. So <clears throat> not exactly sure why they took me inside the garden shed. I could see it from the outside, but for some reason they put me inside the garden shed too. It makes me wonder. Now, of course, my mind went to, and, and I got comments of people saying, oh my God, did they keep, did they lock him in a shed? Did they, is that how they punished him? I don't think so. I think there's evidence in there. If, if I have to just take a guess, I'm, I'm not intuitively saying that. I don't think they put him in a shed though. Um, I think there might be evidence in there. I think that's why they stay to put my energy inside that shed. I really do. Okay, the other thing, you guys. So, I kept getting... When I was meditating for Sebastian this morning, before, okay, first of all, let me tell you, I was meditating for Sebastian. <clears throat> I kept seeing snakes. I kept seeing snakes, big snakes, okay? And I'm like, what? I'm thinking this is a reference to the parents, to be honest. <laughs> I don't have, I don't get good energy off his parents at all. His, his mom and stepdad, not good at all. I was thinking that was the reference, but right before I started filming this, I went to, to a channel I follow and trust. Um, she sticks pretty close to the facts, but also still makes all the considerations that some people are afraid to bring to the platform. Her name is Sweetie Pilo. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys follow her. If, if you don't, go follow her. She's amazing. Big channel. Amazing. Genuine, beautiful soul. Um, so she had put a video. I don't even know when that video was put up. But I just found it this morning. Where... Um, I, she had played an interview that took place on someone else's channel. I'm not sure who. Where the stepfather, uh, Katie and Chris Proudfoot, is the stepfather and mom, um, had were doing an interview and they were talking about Sebastian having snakes as a pet. Okay? So apparently he had these snakes as a pet. So, and, and the only thing they really say about that is that, um, that the pet, or that the this... The pets were removed. They had to remove the pets. Apparently, there was some kind of um, punishment tactics or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the pet, uh, they're saying he wasn't responsible enough with it or whatever, but he had to. So the, the, the man says that Sebastian was obsessed with his pet, with his pet snake. He's just obsessed with it. But as a form of punishment, they took him away. They, they got rid of his pet. And for some reason, Sebastian brought that to me. So that sticks out in his energy. That left a mark on his energy that that happened or it wouldn't have been brought to my attention. Right? All right. Okay, guys. So they've been searching <clears throat> this park. They found a, I guess, a, a, they had some search dogs out there. I guess I better add this because I do know this. They had some search dogs out there. The search dogs were searching in a park area. And they found a place uh, where the dirt looked like it had been dug up or it was soft, okay? The dog, the search dog, alerted to that. It went right over and laid down on it. And then it started digging. What? They, but they didn't find anything here. They shut the park down and sent everybody out and immediately started digging, looking there. So far, no news if anything was found there. I feel like... There's something we're not being told, you guys. I really do. <clears throat> it feels like part of the information is being held back for a very important reason. It feels like part of the information is being kept. They don't, there's something they don't want the parents to know. They're keep, they've got a feather in their hat. I, that's what I call a piece of evidence that they're holding tight to the vest and not sharing. It's almost like, uh, it's like a feather. It's like a, I just, so I just got a, a vision 
quick flash. I don't know what this has to do with it. I'm sorry, you guys. I They never end, <laughs> the messages. Okay, I'm seeing penny loafers. I, I don't know what this means. You know penny loafers, the shoes you put... I don't even know if they exist anymore. They were around when my grandma was a kid, okay? I remember my grandma had a pair and I thought they were so cool as a kid. But there were these type of shoes that they used to stick a penny in them. I don't really know that much about them. I just remember... And I'm, what I'm seeing is, is a reference to what my grandma had, which was these penny loafers. I, I just got that. So, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. The first thing I want to do today, I want, I'm being led I'm being led to investigate the energy of Chris. I'm being told to look at Chris, okay? I'm being told to look at Chris. So, and mom too, Katie too. Uh, it's almost like she protects him or she holds a secret for him or almost like she's like so defensive of him. So I, f I feel like she's probably, most likely she's had to, di okay. This is the energy I'm picking up on with that. I have a family member who was in, in a very controlling, abusive relationship for about 10 years. Now all of us could see it. And we were, and we could see that there was abuse happening. And we were trying to say, we cared about our family members, so we were trying to protect her and, and, remove the threat from her life but and we would say look what's happening look what they did to you and how can you forgive and why did you you know go back to this person and I mean it's very frustrating for those of us on the outside who care about our loved one watching them choose to be in a relationship with someone who is controlling and manipulating them and abusing them okay controlling and manipulating and abusing is every every one of those words has Chris's name dripping off of it Okay, I'm going to say that right now. This is a very controlling man. This is a very, he manipulates everybody around him to see things his way. It is my way or the highway. You do it my way or nothing. This guy is just very, he's like that very patriarchal, I'm the man of the house and what I say goes. And that's Chris. And Katie, her energy feels like somebody who spends a lot of time defending that. Okay. So I'm going to ask for some energy on Chris first. Can I get some energy on Chris, please? Chris Proudfoot. I'm saying it right, right? Just making sure, yeah. <laughs> Seth Rogers, Chris Proudfoot. Proudfoot, okay. Oop, I saw one turned around. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that back in because that was already like that. Okay, Chris, please. Can I get some... Energies on Chris. Chris. Wow, that one. Ooh, that's two. Hmm. Okay, first one I pulled is doctor. Healer of ailments, treatment, surgery, diagnosis, and compassion. Does he have a, does he have health care workers in his family? Has he been in the hospital a lot? Does he have some kind of a health condition? Um, oops. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm picking up on more like a head doctor. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this doctor is tied to Sebastian's autism. Okay, that's what that is. And then I got Traveler. <clears throat> Traveler, Seeker of Horizons, Adventure, Experience, and Long Journey. Now, the last time I did this, I read Sebastian's energy. I said I felt like he was far, like he had been taken away he'd been removed his his energy had been traveled moved 
away, okay? Let me grab just a couple more. I'm wondering if that traveler is not referring to him being traveled, taken away somewhere else. Is Chris the traveler? That's that's what I want to say there. Okay, those did not flip over. I'm gonna, you guys, if they're meant to, to come out, they will. Okay. All right. All right. We've got learner. Okay. This is seeker of knowledge, inquisition, progress, aspirant, and explorer. And I'm wondering if, and, and for me, this just feels like it's connected to Sebastian school education special programs um ha learner he was having he he was autistic so learning was a challenge for him and school had to have been a huge part of his life and i wonder what that has to do with chris was chris demanding about his homework it was he um gosh i could i can feel this man's energy and he is tyrannical you guys just Ugh, I don't like it. Lawyer. Lawyer. Keeper of justice, law, cases, defense. Defense and advisor is sticking out to me. This is on Chris's energy. Some kind of dealings with the law. There's some kind of dealings with the law coming coming out strong in his energy. Okay, what else? One more. One more. Was he trying to teach? Is, is the learner him trying to teach Sebastian a lesson? That's what I'm hearing in my head. Some kind of a lesson that was being taught. Ha! You guys. King. Sovereign of realms. Monarch. Authority. Rule. Inheritance. That's Chris. He thinks he's the king of his castle. That's Chris. Ooh, and I got goosebumps on that. Eek. Gross. I, I can't stand that kind of energy. Ugh. We are all even. Men, women, divine, mas divine masculine, divine feminine. I am somebody who believes in equal rights. I do not like domineering men. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, ha I have a history, okay? <laughs> I don't like this guy's energy. It's very familiar to somebody in my past. This is somebody who is... Rules with an iron iron fist. It's my way or the highway. You do you don't know nothing because you're just a woman. I, I I'm seeing that this is this is something this man would say. I could see him saying this, like, oh, you're just a girl, or what I say go. You're you, what you, how you feel about the situation really doesn't matter to me because ultimately what I say is what's gonna matter anyways. That's ugh. All right, sorry. That's how I feel with that guy. Terrible. And she has this energy of somebody who just has, has spent so much time defending that that she's made it okay in her head. Oh. Volunteer. Selfless devotion, willingness, spirit of service, duty, and dedication. You guys. What did I just say about his pets? His pet. Something about that pet. Okay, this is referring to a pet an animal a pet that goes into a cage okay that is being brought out to you all right let's go to tarot and find out a little bit more about these things here <sighs> with the doctor the healer of ailments treatment surgery all of that i'm feeling this is sebastian's mental health advisors mental health team okay why is is that being brought to my attention for Chris? Why am I why is Sebastian's uh, health issues being did he think he knew how to handle it better than the doctors? Ten of Cups in reverse. This is Ten of Cups is the most happy abundant life. Ten of Cups is is happy family. It's in reverse. The words on the card emotionally incomplete. So when I ask whether or not he felt like he had better answers than the doctors, yeah, that's a, that's a yes for me. This man is emotionally bankrupt. I think I actually referred to him that in the last reading. Those words come through my mind, emotionally bankrupt, okay? So this man, he feels like he knows better for Sebastian 
than Sebastian's doctors and the professionals. Is that correct? Is that what I'm getting with this? Oh, oh my gosh. I, I guess there was two that went down. <gasps> oh, this, this was from, oh, this fell when this, these cards fell. Okay. This was from the, the archetypes. This fell. I didn't know that this fell. What is it? You guys. Oh my God. Traveler. We got traveler. Now we have driver. We have driver. Navigator of journeys. Steering. Safe passage. Safe passage. And welcome. That's the words on the card. I see red. That's okay. I had to say it. I see red. Holy mackerel! And the, and what I asked about with the ten, with the doctor is he trying to think he knows better than the doctor? Is he not following doctor's orders? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Answer. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is the job card. Wait, nope, nope. Eight of Swords is a self-imposed imprisonment. Sorry, I'm always mixing that one up. I've done it forever. Eight of Pentacles is a job card. Eight of Swords is imprisoning, imprisonment. Imprisonment. That, to me, this Eight of Swords absolutely describes autism in this case. Okay, Eight of Swords is autism. It is being trapped, imprisoned inside of yourself. Not having the ability to, to come out, to, to communicate with people and to express yourself and to understand and to process. It's like being trapped inside of your body, inside of your brain, inside of your mind, right? And your energy, basically. This is, so this is the answer I get when I ask about the doctor, him tr thinking he knew better. He didn't know. He doesn't know how to deal with autism. He doesn't know better than the doctors, but he thinks he does. That's what I'm pulling on that one. And then we've got double whammy here. This man took him somewhere. In my opinion, and you know what? Everything I say in my videos is for research, educational purposes. I'm here to bring the truth to the table. I'm here to bring the truth to light as they see it in the energies. And I'm telling you that this is a double message. Double message. That's why I believe in it. Okay. The next one, the learner. Is this the lessons that he was trying to teach Sebastian? Like taking his animal away and putting his hands on him and stuff like that. Is this, oh, I just do not like this guy. I'm sorry, you guys. Did, is this the lesson? Is this learner card talking about the lessons he was teaching Sebastian? Absolutely. Nine of cups. Nine of cups is wishes granted. Nine of cups is getting your wishes to come true. So this was, I'm sorry, I dropped another one. So the wishes, the nine of cups, the wishes granted. This is this man trying to make everything go his way, trying to make everything he thinks that he's going to fix this kid. He thinks he's going to fix this kid. We've got the king of swords here. This is him. He thinks he's going to, he thinks that if he just teaches him the right lesson, if he just complies with his rules and regulations, he, he'll be fine. The autism won't be an issue. Yeah, no problem there. King of swords, ethics over emotions. This man has no emotions, none, zero. His emotions are, he has two scopes. Of emotion three sorry three sorry spirit three his three main emotions one domineering the boss in control he he has anger and he has the okay he does have passion but his passion is driven by anger his passion is to be right all the time this man thinks he is the only one in the room that, that is right the only one. Everyone else is wrong and just stupid imbeciles. They don't know anything. When he's in the room, he is the smartest one in the room. He's the king. Do not like this guy. Sorry. And I got king here too, remember? This man, he thinks he's the king. Well, he is. He's the king of his castle. Thank you, spirit. I just heard king of my castle. Okay, so let's ask about this. What's the lawyer, keeper of justice, the defensive advisor? This is somebody connected to Chris. I know he has some kind of courtroom legal situation, uh, legal stuff that he's 
involved in, I think in Mexico or New Mexico, if I'm correct, I could be wrong on that. So don't thank me. Um, don't come for me if I'm wrong on that one. Um, okay, let's ask. What's the lawyer card, keeper of justice? What is this? Nine of swords. This is his nightmares, anxiety, his fear. That's what's connected to the lawyer. Is he scared? Is he scared he's going to be in trouble and go to jail? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes, he is. Ace of wands, that's a yes. <laughs> Woo, he's scared. And look at this. I've got the Ten of Coins again. This is a, Ten of Coins is building a, a retirement, building a legacy. It is, you've worked, so you've worked your whole life. You're now at the Ten of, the Ten, uh, sorry, Ten of Coins. You're, you're now at the Ten of Coins. This is where you have accomplished everything. You, you've worked so hard. You've built this, your own empire. You've built your life up. And now you're going to live off of, you're going to reap the rewards of everything you've worked so hard for. And you're just going to live off of everything. And it's, and it's the most abundant, wonderful, okay, see this? This was in reverse. The words on the car in reverse, underlying, underlying instability. Okay. What can we know about the volunteer card with the selfless devotion, willingness, willingness, spirit of service, duty, and dedication? What can we know about that? Is this tied to his pet? Yes. The world card in reverse. So... This, the pet, the pet was kind of his world. He, he, the, the man says he was obsessed with it. Yeah, it was his world. The pet was his world. That's what he looked forward to. He loved that pet. Regardless of what kind of, my, my son had a snake too growing up. I hated the thing. He, they had to, when we first got it, it was like the size of a large night crawler. And we, he, they fed it like bugs and stuff. I mean, by the time we had to get rid of that snake because it was big enough to eat our little chihuahua, <laughs> Uh, when he did get rid of it. And, I mean, at the end, he was putting it in the bathtub and feeding it large rats. It was disgusting to me, but he's a boy. I let my kids have pets if they wanted them, as long as they took care of them, right? Well, apparently, Sebastian was not taking care of this animal up to Chris's expectations. And it was used as a form of torture. It was not used for love, for healing, for teaching purposes. No. It was used as a form of torture. It threw his world upside down, okay? It threw, it threw what he knew and understood upside down. This guy's a jerk. Did Chris do something to Sebastian? Did Chris do something to Sebastian? Two of coins tells me there were two energies. Two energies. Words on the card. Set priorities. What the hell is this man constantly talking about? Priorities, rules, guidelines, regulations, learn, do this, do that. Mmm. Two energies hurt Sebastian. Did Sebastian walk out of that house barefooted with a flashlight? Is that true? Did Sebastian walk out of that house barefooted with a flashlight? No. No. Wait. Okay, I got six of cups in reverse. This is about, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. He may have actually, yes, he may have actually walked out of that house. He may have tried. He may have tried. I think he was trying to. I think he was trying to. Um, because I, I did. I am seeing flashlights. I am seeing more than one person holding flashlights in the dark. There's a reason this was done in the dark. It was to avoid cameras. It was to avoid being caught on camera. Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. But this is this card is... Let me, let me ask more on this one. This card is about being being stuck in the past, being, you know, being stuck in the past, like looking back and, and wanting what was in the past and being lost in that, not being able to move forward because you want what used to be. And I feel like for this, I feel like that is 
how Sebastian felt about his life once his stepfather became part of it. I feel like for Sebastian, I feel like that is, he, he just remembered how it used to be before that man came into his life. Or maybe how it used to be when mom and dad were together or something like that. But he's looking at how, how things used to be. And for some reason, he's showing me two people walking in the dark with flashlights. Was this your parent, Sebastian? Tower. That's a yes. Sorry, that's a yes for me. I'm gonna go look, I'm gonna look in another deck here and see what we can get out of the energies. I do not like this guy. He puts me in such a sour mood, you guys. <laughs> ah. Oh, what a jerk. Yeah. Yeah, this man is very domineering. He feels like his opinion matters above everyone else's. Other people are stupid. They're just, if they don't agree with him, they're just dumb. They don't they don't know. They're not worth his time or, or energy if they don't do it his way. He doesn't have, he doesn't want nothing to do with them. Huh, you're shitting me. Staged. Something staged. Something staged. I'm hearing the story. What's what, what what was staged? Spirit, what was staged? What was the stage? I'm gonna have to go to another deck. Uh, let's try this one right here. All right, what was staged? What was staged? Doesn't that look like flashlights in the dark? Sure does to me. What was this? What is this staged here? Can I have more on that? What, did, what can I know about the staged? You're shitting me. I'm. You guys, it's the emperor. That's a father figure. Okay. What more can I know about this emperor? Sebastian. I'm talking to the spirit of Sebastian right now. So his energy is kind of hard for me to read, but it's it's better this time than last time just because I feel like I came more prepared with some extra help from his guides. And I feel like they're trying to help him come through to me. It's not as chaotic as it was last time. The last time I read on his energy, I was like exhausted afterwards trying to understand that and and just harness or, or to hold it still for just a second to understand what I was seeing. It was exhausting. Not so bad this time. I do feel like he has, his spirit has ascended. I do. Absolutely. Um, and in spirit, he, the autism is gone and he's making a lot more sense now. He's, he's processing. So, um, oh gosh, you guys, it's, the, it's, Okay, I have to be careful what I say. I'm very, very suspicious of the father and the mother. Now, can Spirit, can you please tell me what part actually, okay. I'm being told to keep pulling. Okay, staged. Flashlights. Three of them. Interesting. Okay, what more can I know? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. The timeline's off. Delays. They delayed and, and, and the timeline's off somehow. There was some kind of a delay and them and the timeline is off. I, I, I'm saying, I'm telling you, let me, let me, let me ask. Okay. Am I right when I say that the timeline is off in the par in the, the parents? Two of pentacles. There's that two energies again. Again, looks like a light in the dark. Two energies. I, oh, here's another one. Oh my gosh. Okay, didn't I get this earlier? Yes, I did. Okay, I just got another repeated message. So remember earlier when I got the Ten of Cups in reverse? I just got the Ten of Cups in reverse again. That is the happiest, most abundant family life. And it was in reverse. Okay. That coming off of delays. Okay. What more can I know? Show me in the in the energies, please. Show me in the energies. What more can I know about what happened to Sebastian? What more can I know about what happened to him? Why he's not here? Why? What more can I know? 
watch. Okay. Okay, what more? What more? Counterfeit. That's him. That's everything he says. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm feeling on that. <laughs> when I read on Chris's energy, that's the perfect way to explain him. See how smug that dude looks in that picture? Ooh, I can't stand this man. I'm sorry. <laughs> really like everybody but this guy is gross weather manipulation how would that come in well manipulation changing things up cause doing something to cause the outcome you want weather manipulation for me is changing tweaking something changing something, changing the regular natural flow of something up to create your own narrative or your own outcome. What you, you would like better as an outcome. That's what that is for me. I, I feel like that is his, his counseling, his, his doctors, any kind of services that he was receiving. I feel like this man felt like he knew better than all of them. And he could, he could speak he just knew better than them just because he's him, I guess. I don't know. But he didn't, I don't feel like this man agreed with much that the doctors said. I feel like he, he didn't feel like the plans were effective or their, their programs or their, whatever they were doing. Cause I feel like there were s systems put into place for this child to help uh, aid him through his deficits when it came to learning and stuff like that. I feel like there was, there were special teachers and special programs and specialists and there's people in his life that wouldn't be there if he wasn't autistic. That they were there for that reason. And I feel like this man probably disagreed with everything they said. What more can I know about what happened? I want to know about what happened to him. Please show me what happened to him. <sighs> the hermit. He's been taken away. Thank you, spirit. I know that much. Okay, I'm going to look in here. Spirit, I'm, I'm talking about the place that you guys showed me in my last reading when I, in the yard. Is there anything more I need to know about that? Is there anything more you can show me about the yard? Or, okay, so <clears throat> this is new. There may be like a fence. There may be a, I mean, not a fence, a gate, an opening in the, the that, that fence or the, on that gate in the backyard. Some kind of an opening I'm seeing. Uh, some kind of an opening. And there's like a little metal piece and you pull it up and then you pull the, you like pull it up and you, and you pull it. It's like a, a metal gate. Okay. It's a metal gate and it's got like this metal piece that, holds it tight, holds it closed, and you pull it up, and then it'll open. Metal gate. I'm being shown that now. Okay, what's the metal gate? Oh, that's the wrong deck. Sorry. Why am I being shown this metal gate? What's the metal gate? It's. It feels like the same yard I was showed before. Okay, is this... Did he go out of that gate? Because look, I've got the Knight of Pentacles walking away. I ask about the gate, right? First of all, I got the Ace of Swords. This is the person I'm reading on. This is the subject, okay? This is the person I'm reading on. So you see the person holding the light. This would be him walking away. And I'm talking about a gate. Did he go out of this gate? Did he go, is that like how he left? Did he go out of the gate? You guys! Two of wands. I keep picking up two energies over and over and over and over. I'm picking up two energies. Is the, it looks like they're going out a gate. It looks like someone going out a gate, but it looks like a female. Oh my God. You guys look at this. 
they're both walking out a gate. We've got a male and a female. Walking out a gate, and we've got the subject. Did they leave together? Did the three of them leave that house together? Did the three of them leave that house together the night Sebastian came up missing? Did they leave together? Did they leave? Knight of Wands. This is his energy. This is him. That's him. That is his energy. That's exactly... Ooh, I can't stand the guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, he thinks he is God. Like, he's the boss. And every, every conversation, every situation, everywhere he goes. This, this man, he has treated every person in his life this way. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has a lot of enemies. I don't think a whole lot of people like this man. You kind of have to be weird to like this man. Okay, I'm going to see what I can get in the archetypes. I don't want this to be too, too long. So let me just see what I can get in the archetypes for Katie real quickly. Asking for Katie's energy, please. What can I know about Katie, the mother? I'm, You guys, I, I am seeing this... Mm. Oh man, I'm getting tightness on. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Something with the neck. Something with the neck. Something with the throat and the neck. Something with the throat. I'm asking my guys to come in. Please pull that energy back from me, please. Um. That is... Something with his neck, okay? Mark my words, something with his neck. What? 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 What is it? What about his neck? Why was I just squeak? <clears throat> Why is that happening to my neck? Why? What was that? I seen so I seen one flip over. Oh my god. I got seven of wands. Seven of wands? Are you kidding me? This is self-defense. This is protecting yourself this is is self-defense and i'm feeling this did he did he strangle him did he strangle him oh my god i got six of cups six of cups is nostalgia and innocence She's in there, standing in a doorway. <clears throat> I'm going to ask again. Yeah, that was... Okay. I'm going to ask a different... Let me ask a different deck. <clears throat> Good grief. Sorry. Wow. Did... Sebastian was Sebastian choked or strangled is that what happened to him got the queen of cups the queen of cups is mom that's a nurturing person um I would be real interested in knowing what her view of God is I don't I wonder what her spirituality is like I wonder if she believes in God I wonder if she's part of a church I wonder if she's into spirituality um, but I'm getting another reference to that stuck on mom and then I've got the three of wands this is a necessary transition this is <clears throat> this is needing to move this is needing to leave this is needing to and it's also and it's travel okay it's travel it is it is travel it's commerce it's taking it's expansion it's travel Okay. Okay. What happened to Sebastian? Please. What happened to Sebastian? I'll just keep asking. <laughs> oh my God. Death card. I know that much. Spirit is so literal and direct. Okay. Um, how, how did Sebastian pass? The star, 
This is something being brought to light, put on stage. Something at night, something that happened at night under the stars. Okay, okay. I mean, let me ask in the situations, what happened? What happened at night? What happened to the star? What happened? This is the person um, that we're talking about. This is the subject. What happened to the star? What happened to the star that night? What happened? Well, we got hamster wheel, surviving daily hustle. And this reminds me of him. And I can almost hear him saying it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Some kind of a reference to money. Surviving daily hustle. I'm going to go back into this. Light Sears, I'm going to ask about that. What, what does this mean? The hamster wheel. I just saw someone being arrested. I just saw someone being turned around and put cuffs on their hands. Is he, is, is he going to be arrested? Is he going to be arrested? Is Chris going to be arrested? Is Chris going to be arrested? I'm seeing somebody be arrested. I am. I'm seeing somebody be arrested and having handcuffs put on. On. Is this Chris that I'm seeing that's going to be arrested? Is this Chris? I know I got the lawyer. Is this Chris that's going to be arrested? Ah! Oh my God. We got the wheel. We got the, the wheel of fortune. This is a, a, a lucky change of events. This is somebody's fortune. Someone cha everything changing, being switched up. <gasps> the devil! Oh my God! The empress! That's all three. That's both of the parents. Having a huge change of events coming up. Are you kidding me? Are they going to be arrested? Are they going to be arrested? I have goosebumps all over my body. We got the ace of wands. That's a yes. Holy shit, you guys. All right, that's 48 minutes. I'm going to stop there. I'll come back. I'll, I'll read it again. I'll read the energies again. Um, I still feel like I need to... Let me ask a couple more things, okay? The dogs, where the dogs were at. The park area, the dogs, the dogs. Where the dogs hit. This is the wrong deck. Okay, here we go. Where the dogs hit. Where the dogs hit. I'm seeing it in my mind right now. Okay. Was that... Is, is that tied to Sebastian? Where the dogs hit. Was Sebastian put there? Was something of Sebastian's put there? Why did the dogs hit on that spot? Why? What was that? You are shitting me, you guys. In this in this tarot, it's the death card. Okay, I think that there's something they're not telling us. I think there was something found that they're not telling us. And according to my cards and the way the energy set right now, there will be an arrest made. I drew what is, I drew the place that my energy was taken to. I just wanted to make sure that this was actually, you guys could understand what I was describing here. So this, I drew a picture of the place that spirit took me uh, connected to Sebastian. <clears throat> I've been taken there quite a few times. And this, so this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So this is a backyard. Looking at it from, say, you, the, the, this is the back door and you're looking this way. Okay, so coming out the back door, there would be a patio, like a concrete patio here. It's just like a concrete pad. There's like half of it's covered with like a erected temporary roof. And then there's these 
um, these tire flower bed things that are in the yard. There's a shed that's right up here with the door facing that way. Um, there's a pathway that's that I see going through the yard. Like that's the main way and I think it's leading to a gate which is over here. I didn't see exactly where the gate was, but I'm assuming that's where it is because I did see a gate. I'm assuming that's where it is because that's where the pathway seemed, seemed to lead to. Okay, also too, the first time I, I was brought here, I was seen, I was shown something over here, but I, I, I can't remember what it was. And so I've tried to, to get that information and so far I haven't got it. But there was something right here, but I can't remember what it was. So when I went to go sit down and draw this, I could not remember. I'm not going to put something there if I don't know what it was. So there was something here, something large here, and I'm not sure what it is. But this is the backyard. This is the yard. This is the place that I was seeing. This is the shed I was taken into. It's like a garden shed. Um, but anyways, that hopefully that'll help give you a better visual. This one, I wanted to... For some reason, this was very important and and pointed out to me too. I wanted to show, this is what the door looked like from the inside. So this is really what they showed me. I was looking at the door and this is the door. This was the piece of wood and it was like it could turn and go up this way. So like in the up position, it would look like that. And and it, it was just something you could just turn. I mean, I, there was like a nail in the middle of it that kept it on there, but that's, that's what that locking mechanism looked like for the door uh, and for some reason that was important so I thought I would show that to you.